I will present 2014 confab report to Nigerians to reconsider. I am Pius. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. The former Senate president also said that he was open to having a woman as running mate. A presidential aspirant of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Anyem Pius Anyem, on Friday said that if elected president, he would re-present the 2014 National Conference Report to Nigerians for possible review and implementation. Mr. Anyem Pius, at a meeting with the former members of the National Working Committee, of the party in Abuja said the report had solutions to several challenges facing the nation. The former secretary to the government of the federation said that while some recommendations in the report might no longer be up to date with the present reality, all Nigerians required was to review the document for implementation. The former Senate president also said that if he had his way, he would have a woman as a running mate for the 2023 presidential election. Mr. Anyem Pius urged the delegates to ensure that the PDP was not misled in making the right choice by producing the right candidate that would be the right leader for the country. He said that if a wrong candidate emerged, it will affect the performance of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, in the 2023 presidential election. And if such candidate eventually wins, it will affect the country. We must, for every reason under the sun, realize that Nigerians are indeed waiting for us. What does that imply? It is to test the conscience of the party. If we disappoint them, it will be a long hot and disappointment from primary to election. If we satisfy the expectations, it will also be an encouragement from the primary election, he said. Okay, just as we just as we um already know, a whole lot is going on and these people they are almost using us to play. The APC, we can see how they are using Nigerians. They are doing movie for us. They are releasing episode by episode of movies. And uh, we are here watching them. They release episode 1 today. We'll watch. They release episode 2. They have released and released at a point where Jonathan is now almost at the picture. And we'll keep watching this movie. Now, Anyem Paya Sanyem, just like every other presidential candidate, is coming out to say, I am sorry, maybe he might mean it, but sincerely, you're not going to blame us. Nigerian, Nigerian politicians have broken Nigerians' heart. They have broken the delegate's heart not once, not twice. By during campaign, they'll come out and they're going to promise heaven and earth, oh, this will happen, oh, that will happen, oh, this will happen. And at the end of the day, immediately they get into power. It is like they throw away whatever paper or jota they used to write down things that were promised and of course it's like they throw it into the river and they do not it is wiped off the memory that they don't even they don't even remember anything they promised us anymore so i'm sorry mr Daniel pious we're going to keep looking at you like you know you don't mean this thing you know and me i believe if you even want to prove you mean it you're going to tell us how this thing is going to happen you don't just come out and tell us this is what you're going to do you're going to give us the run us through the process what and how are you going to be doing? Who and who will be working on whatever you, you want to work on? How is it going to be worked on? What are the solutions? The solution should not be one, should not be two. It should be varieties of solutions where we're going to try to at least give us the picture of that Nigeria that we so dream of. And let us see the, 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 the image of it. Let us be able to visualize it. And then if we can, then we can at least start, uh, we can at least, you know, stand behind um, that particular person and vote for the person. Okay. I'll listen to you whenever you allow commercial banks build and start operation in your mining-rich community, Ishagu, 
Ebony State instead of going to neighboring states like Imo to carry out banking transactions. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I don't think you really want to be the president. How can you use the 2014 convap for your campaign? Something you should know better than us that the North will not welcome it. Hmm. Okay. Uh, okay. Northern politicians will fit here. <laughs> In all of this, let's forget all the gas boosts that are going on. Let's not forget that 2023 is a year we cannot afford to mess with. No matter how you are playing with it, no matter how you have been somebody who have been waiting for pocket infrastructure and stomach infrastructure, 2023 is a year that is very peculiar. We will not have a year like 2023 again. Why? Because we stand to do a lot of things that if we miss doing now, it is going to be a whole lot of problems. To do them as in we must not, we cannot afford not to do them now. We cannot afford not to do them now. Else, dub problems. Else, dub problems. And it is not going to be nice. We should come together, pick a candidate, even though I know that as the day goes by, things are being done. See all those things happening now. A lot of things are happening. A lot of religion issues, a lot of um, ethnic issues are making us to be divided more than ever. See, sometimes I feel that like these things are orchestrated, as in they are strategically planned to happen, and so that we are going to be further divided, so that we will not be able to make a decision that is going to favor us. I keep saying, as disunited as we are, we cannot go forward. There is no how the North cannot be better alone. The South cannot be better alone. It is not. There is no way it is possible. We can only be better together, and it is only possible if we're united. It is only possible if we can look beyond our ethnicity, our tribalism, our, our religious bigotry. So yes, it is only when I see your problem as my problem, and we know that, okay, this is our, our common problem, and we'll start looking for a collective solution. That is when we are going to be able to solve our problem. Else, we're just going to be here, you know, blowing baby grammar. And these people, they will just keep throwing things that will further disunite us. And during, during the election, they are going to 